Hello, church. Uh, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever one it is to you. Uh, today I had something to talk about, but things changed. So uh, this one might be a little difficult for me, so I apologize in advance. Uh, last night, one of our, uh, one of our dogs died. And uh, she, yeah, it was a little unexpected. She was old. She had cancer, but we weren't expecting it last night. And so this is one of those, one of those things that happens. It's a consequence of, uh, consequence of being mortal, right? And the dogs and the animals, they're all mortal too. And so I, the only thing I kind of want to talk about is how we present ourselves when things like this happen. And please know this isn't a judgment. It's not a, it's not an idea of how you're supposed to do it. It's just a thought I had. So one of the things Jesus talks about is when you're going to fast, don't contort your faces and be upset the way other people do so that way people will know you're fasting and you know recognize it instead clean yourself cover your head in oil go about your business even though you are fasting and I think there's a point to this the point of it is if what you're doing is for God, then even if it hurts, you don't need to do, you don't need to show that. You should instead show that you're stoic, um, trusting in the process of our Creator, and realizing that even if there is some uncomfortableness, it is it is for our benefit. So I say that to say this. I still had to wake up this morning at five. I still had to open the shop this morning. Still had to be around 60 dogs. Every single one of them reminds me of her. And the other dogs don't care. They don't know. They don't care. It makes no difference in their life. The, cus the dog's owners, they don't care. It makes no difference in their life. My team members, it's not their dog. No reason for them to be that upset about it. So I have to ask myself, how am I supposed to act today? I'm upset. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be nice today. A uh, real short fuse, trying not to cry all day when I see other dogs. How am I supposed to act? Well, I'll tell you what. If my behavior changes and how I speak to people now turns to sharpness and unforgiving, ungrateful, things like this. Well then, am I only nice when things are nice to me? Am I only a Christian when things are going good and then when things are going bad, I'm gonna throw those, those talents out the window? Because I need to go by my emotion. No. No. Cover yourself in oil. Wash your face. Go out to the world. And show them that even though death came. I was expecting it. I wasn't scared of it. She wasn't scared of it. And I'm not worried about it. Because my creator told me. There's not even a bird that falls to the ground without him near them. My creator told me all of creation groans for release and he will release them. So when we are presented with death, try not to go out into the streets and cover yourself in sackcloth and ashes and tear your clothes. Try instead to show the world 
we operate with death in a different way. Death does not have the power over me to ruin my day. I know that sounds weird. Of course it does. It would ruin your day if my wife died or whatever. But death, the sting of death, he doesn't hold me anymore. I know where my dog is. He's, she's with the creator. And for those of you that disagree, well, you can keep that to yourself. I don't need to hear about it. My creator created these things. And I believe he loves them the way he loves us. Because we're stupid compared to him. Just like he's stupid compared to us. So when tragedy strikes, which, you know, in the world we live in, it's sometimes all we get is tragedy. How are you to act? Are you to panic? Throw your life into chaos, throw your hands up, say, what are we to do? Or instead, are you an example to the rest of the world who when death comes for them, they cover themselves in ashes, sackcloth, raise their voices to the sky, curse God, drink till they fall over, Is this the proper way? No. The proper way, church, is to do what I did yesterday, which is smile at everybody I can, help everybody I can, not take my emotions out on other people. And when somebody asks me why I'm not broken up about it, I should be able to give account for the joy that I have because of the gospel. And I will give that account if somebody asks. And if they don't, then I won't need to. But death comes for us all. It's usually not expected or planned for. So when it comes for you, instead of showing it your ashes and sackcloth, maybe try baking it some cookies. Maybe try smiling at it. Maybe tell it it's got no power against you. But again, these are all words from a man who is not a scholar. And a lot of times I have ideals and goals that I don't live up to. I'm sure tonight, after I get back home, I'm not around the team and the other dogs. I'll have a breakdown. Just like I did last night. But that's alright too. But if I'm around another human. And they know I'm a Christian. And death touches my life. And what they see is me act the same way that they would act when death touches their life. Well then why wouldn't they ask their son, what's the difference? If you're a Christian... We're supposed to have faith, the promise. Why is it that you're as sad, broken up, heartbroken as I am? I don't know. But I think we're supposed to do death different. I'm not even sure what that looks like. But for me, it looks like trying to smile today. Being nice to all the dogs, even though I miss... I miss her. I'm not wearing a, not contorting my face. I'll contort my face when I'm by myself. That's all I got, church. I love you all. Go in peace.